it up? It's your boy T Bear here with your reaction. Time for a new anime video. So this is top ten underrated anime series. This is an anime series that didn't get my, don't get a lot of love they should get. And all right, just a heads up. This was made in May May tenth of um. Just give me a second. Sorry about that. Yeah. Jeez, a little bit. This was made in May, May of 2015. So ain't new animes as oh after that, not one there. I do apologize. So let's check out what top ten anime was considered underrated. What is this? Hold up. I'm Oh, hold on, why is it freezing? Give me a second. It just froze on me a little bit. My whole video just froze. So oh, shit. Alright, let's do that again. These anime just don't get as much love <coughs> as they should. Oh, I got this on my list. The watch. Damn. Mojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10. Why can't I find this damn bit? One, oh, come on, <coughs> wake up and dig in oh, already, man. will ya? For this list, we consider series that are known for their story elements, animation style, and other unique elements, but haven't received the mass attention that they deserve. Time is up. All of you into the arena with your number tag. Number 10, Dead, Dead Man, man Wonderland. I gotta and check this out. Can you weaponize your own blood? If so, you would fit in right here. Protagonist Ganta is a high school student who is framed for the murder of his entire class oh, and yeah. sent to the Dead Man Wonderland, private prison, and theme park. This series is packed full of so many twists and turns that you might get lost in the prison yourself. Just remember that I gave you the choice. Damn. An intriguing yet confusing story. This 12 episode series was over all too quickly and will leave you wanting another ride. Well, Trust us. I'm only gonna see this once. Oh shit! I'm not a freaking murderer. You think I'm scared of some loudmouth dickwad like you? <laughs> and I mean? So if you're going to kill me, stop wasting my damn time and do it. Number nine. Whoosh. Mm -hmm. Bushi are ethereal beings that thrive in all living things and come in many different forms. It takes a Bushi master to help protect regular people from the negative effects that they cause. Protagonist Ginko is one of these men. Unlike the other entries on our list, Bushishi is an artistic and serene experience that is episodic in structure, so each episode is its own encapsulated story. We aren't the only ones to recognize this show as the series is constantly winning awards and praise from fans and critics alike. More people definitely need to check it out. Uh, check it out. <sighs> this is I don't see what I'm talking about. I don't see what that Number eight, Elton Lee. I, I want to find this damn movie. Is this a movie or a, a, a whole series of movies? Looking for some over-the-top violence? Check out our next entry. <laughs> Oh. The series follows a group of Diclonii, mutants that are indistinguishable from normal humans except for two small horns on the top of their head. Everything is kept under wraps until one of the Diclonius, Lucy, escapes in a bloody, naked rampage. No, Lucy, don't do it! Oh! An interesting Why'd you do it? based on small differences, the series quickly became known for absurd amounts of fan service and violence, both physical and psychological. To be oh shit! Oh! Number seven, hey, that sounded fucked up. Number seven, Wolf Rain. I uh, not on my list for Funimation. To watch. It's always the same road. It just goes on and on. Especially my boy Giant Yamabasa from Parmesan is one of the voices on this one. Why am I so driven to find it? 
Follow the wolves and they will lead you to salvation. No, stay. Sorry, boy, but even if you followed me home, I couldn't keep you. In Wolf's Reign, a group of wolves turned humans seek out the path to paradise, one that is rumored to be only accessible by wolves. See their predicament? Living like a bunch of down and out strays, clinging to this disgusting place, and doing what you do. How can you call that a life? What the hell do you know about it? Wolf's Reign does a lot of things right like interesting characters and beautiful animation. Damn. The series was also praised for its haunting imagery and it definitely needs a follow-up. Damn it, would you stop being afraid of everything? Yeah! Number six, Red Garden. <laughs> mm -hmm. Interesting. This series tends to go unnoticed for its use of less traditional anime art style. In Red Guard, four different. teenage girls are involved in supernatural murders in and around a fictionalized that's version of New York City. Heavily influenced by Hollywood different cinema, the series incorporates many elements from the horror and mystery genres. Damn, that hot thud right there. Shit. While not a huge commercial success in the West, the series was popular enough to receive an OVA sequel series entitled Dead Girls. Damn, damn! Number five, Angel Beats. This is, uh, Sometimes when you die, so you're a second chance. Yup, I knew it. I knew Angel it. Beats world, we meet a group of students that have all died in gruesome and disturbing ways. Yet have been given a new life, only in limbo. Okay, na. Oh, ay koto ba? Kami mo koto ke mo tenshi mas. Incredibly moving. This series shows how far people will go for their loved ones, and sometimes they earn a little redemption. Ooh, shit. 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 Just remember, being forever in the Hayes Purgatory doesn't have to be so bad. Oh shit! I think I just want to go, man. I don't like to see this one. Number four. You Do you have a goose? Ooh, this is underrated? A lot of people talk. Well, I guess, I guess it is, though. A lot. It must. It probably is. A lot of people talk about it as Marsh. As Marsh, though, it's probably it is. This, I guess you say. It's about redemption. Our hero, Yusuku Urameshi, is a delinquent who dies saving an innocent child oh. and is revived as an undead detective. That's how it's it funny, is. Yusuke. None of us were expecting you to die today. You've thrown us off for a little. Oh, that's that's so all about. Wow, that's interesting. Yusuke, we learn much about what it means to be human. No wonder he got the works many elements from the cult yeah. and horror genres, and even dabbles in Buddhist mythology. Released during what many call the Dragon Ball era, Yu Yu Hakusho was quickly forgotten, but is well worth oh, the Oh, that's so why. That's why I got like late popularity. That's why. Three, toward the terror. Here is an anime that keeps slipping in and out of our radar. A standout piece of science fiction, Toward the Terra, is an analysis of how uh -huh. war and pollution will destroy the Earth's resources, forcing humans to colonize other planets. <laughs> Oh, and there are supercomputers that brainwash those humanity left behind. <laughs> Initially made as a film in 1980, it was expanded on into a series in 2007. The series has gained quite a bit of praise for showing what could be a terrifying, not-so-distant future. <laughs> Yeah, my shampoo. I guess you say it was probably a bit underrated. It's something they don't want to like probably about underrated. Samurai in anime is never really a bad idea. So you finally turned up, huh? I figured you would. Now I'm gonna make you pay for cutting off my arms and what? This series focuses on a group of samurai, Mugen, Jin, and Fu, as they try to become the greatest samurai in Japan. This series is unique as it mixes traditional fantasy swordsman tropes with a hip-hop setting. My name is... 
Nagamitsu, suck on Shogun! This guy is supposed to be shy? Who knew that alternate worlds could be so radical? While heavily overshadowed by similar anime such as Yasha and Bleach, Samurai Shampoo is credited for bringing a more unique style of anime to Western culture. Yeah, definitely gonna put that in the. the no, the, 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 uh, the especially the no. Hesla ones. Before we unveil our top ten, here are a few honorable <coughs> mentions. Wow, that shit is crazy. That was crazy. Number one. Tadashi. Yeah. I said I was watching the second episode of that. It's like so many enemies you gotta watch, man. Shit. Number one. Bacano. That's it. I'm watching this one. I'm gonna find this one. Uh, the second I see Bacano in the count countdown, it looks so interesting. I'm gonna find this one. Okay. This Pulp Fiction is a little hard to describe. Bacano follows three intertwining stories, following different characters and spanning many years. At first, one might expect the sheer number of characters would lead to them being underdeveloped, but every character has a fair amount of screen time and backstory. Cults, demons, mafia, and murder were all weaved into a tale that will not soon be forgotten. You better have a dub version of this book. Oh well, it does, because I think this is actually one of the top ten dubs. Well, go ahead. While considered an action comedy, Ruckus has oh, shit! Damn, oh! <laughs> yeah, Yo, you see the brain? You see the brain, though? They had the brain showing, though. Oh, shit! Damn! <laughs> they had a fucking What's brain you showing in there. Do you agree with our list? Which anime do you feel this doesn't get good. enough love and attention these days? I guess the double version was out yet, because it's made it 2015. Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I might watch that damn in one last year. Man, so many enemies we get to watch, man. Sheesh. I got a lot of them that I want to watch, though. Some holding out because they don't want to. Unless I find the, the dub version of it. They don't want to. I'm dub version of it. I'm still holding out for the. Uh, I'm still holding out for. Um, Black. What is it? Uh, Black Over. I'm waiting for the simulcast to come out on Funimation. I'm sorry. The so dub version to come out, though. Because, like I said, just like everybody beats. Like, everybody be saying, oh, the sub is better. I mean, you need to do sub. I mean, I don't understand that. Or I hate that. I say, uh, like, I'd rather prefer a dub version. I would say I'm missing out with dub, with doing a dub. It's not like this. It's just, I can't sit through, like, I can't just sit, can't just sit through, like, watching stuff in other language, like, far too long, though. I mean, over and over, like I said, again, it's bad enough to doing it with Karuka basketball or only because I like basketball. But I really sure hope, pray that they do do a uh, dub version of it. I don't care if it's shitty. I just want to see how to be. They play. They, it was. It, this is in English, man. See how the reaction and stuff like that, though. Like Matt, and there's like too much to try to imagine. It was like they say all that shit in English, though. Like, oh uh, man, that's why I like watching the the, the fan dub sometimes, though. They like fan dub clips and stuff like that. Like I want a dub version. And two, like I said, not just for me, but like it'll bring a lot of fans to that anime. That anime is so that anime is so awesome for real. Like it's an awesome sports anime, especially for a guy if you're a basketball fan, you will love it. So anyway, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page. Oh, another one they come me to do a dub version is Food Wars. I mean, I want to watch that one. Like I sit through the at the the one time so my girl fan watched it. In the, in the sub though, it looks interesting though, but just can't take some, take, just can't take subs sometimes. So anyway, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and um, or any other one I'm just cringingly doing sub one is Dragon Ball watching the fights because because Toonami's taking so long. Well, no, they ain't too long. Funimation it takes so long releasing. It's slowly released out the dub version of it. I don't know why it should drop a first season release, man. Oh well, but anyways, your boy T-Bear signing off, one love.